what the future holds, it's endless. Top of the gold mine has been operating for quite a few years now. In terms of underground, since 2019, Recently, we've increased the mine life out, and from that, we've been looking to find and acquire new gear to help us with that goal. The relationship between Sandvik and Tom Ingley's been around for about five years now. It started off with selling Tom Ingley a DL432i long hole drill, and the relationship has progressed from there. They've now purchased two DD422i dual control jumbos, and just of late, they've bought a horseshoe DL422i. The big advantages for us looking at the rig was consistency with the rest of our fleet being the same carrier and acquiring the DD IC series rigs. Which makes servicing a lot easier between our work crews. Familiarisation so our stocks are minimised between machine models. The main technology that led us to go for the i-series drills was the improvement in automation and control over the machine so we've got less requirement for both an operator and also from a maintenance perspective as well. We'd be able to get equivalent performance from less experienced people and maintain normal production rates. One of my favourite features about the 422DL and DD models would be the ability to limit access through the GUI panel, which allows us to maintain continuous production outputs thanks to minimal interference with drilling and maintenance settings. Sandvik's been very supportive of us since we delivered our first jewellery. It meant the drills were up and running very, very quickly and commissioned. These new dual controls really assist the drillers and helps them perform better. It's brought production up for Tom Ingley. With the DLs, we've seen an increase of getting operators up to skill quicker, which has then helped Tom Ingley get their production meters and meet their targets that they require. Same as with the DD422 with dual controls. The best part about them being all the same controls is you can hop off a 420, a 421, and everything's reasonably familiar. All your levers are all the same. Just the way they're set up, everything's a touch of a button away. They're pretty foolproof that way. The advantages are they're a lot more comfortable, they're quieter, they're faster. The technology that I find appealing and why we did lean down the drill control path is for the development drills is being able to engage the recipes and that's probably been the key part in ensuring our operators and green operators get up to speed quickly. When we talk about recipes in drills, they're the work settings. So that's where we set the drilling pressures and speeds and parameters around for drilling in the long hole rigs. So it gives us a bit of quality assurance there. The numbers are 10 to 12% improvement in performance. So that's put down to the drill rig itself. Tom Ingley have embraced this and realised that this system works much better than the old system and it hasn't taken away jobs. It just means their production is up.